Howdy friends, welcome back to Griff's Adventures. Sorry it's been a while since I did a video. I just had a lot of things going on personally and everything in life that is life. Sometimes you just get caught up and don't have time to do a video. But anyhow, I wanted to get back up with y'all today. I um, had LastFit reach out to me about my last video on installing the LastFit headlights in my truck. Uh, kind of give you all an update on that and it's been almost a year uh, since well, I guess it's been a year since I had the uh, the lights put in my truck had no issues with them um, if you haven't um, thought about putting uh, LED headlights in your vehicle I can't just uh, tell you how much better um, it makes driving at night um, with the LED headlights much more uh, better with last fit last fit's a great company if you haven't um, used them yet i would highly suggest using last fit uh, there will be a link in the uh, description below i'll have it down there um, to uh, purchase the last fit headlights um, today we're going to be doing a an opening of the uh, the last fit lights that they just sent me going to be replacing my high beams which is just as easy as the low beams um, actually they're a little bit easier because they're actually easier to get to in the canyon um, to replace those so hang tight and we'll be uh, opening the box showing you what all they send with the package and then we'll be installing the headlights hang tight all right here we go i'm gonna open this box as you can see it is from last fit and this is what they sent to me. My name's on it. Comes uh, packaged pretty neatly. As you can see here, this is the last fit. Uh, it's the 9005 that will replace the high beams. And there we go. There's the box that last fit sends them in. Do a quick opening. Alright, so inside they have a product manual. Tells you everything about the headlights. Last bit sends uh, three different uh, decals. If you'd like to put those on your vehicle, come with those. And this is it. This is what the headlights look like. Um, come neatly packaged in the box. This ring here removes off so you can put that in there inside the housing and then all you got to do is just slide that in there it makes it a lot easier it's got a um, got two o-rings here that keep water and moisture from getting inside it's also got an o-ring here so it's a very good tight fit so that's it that's what the headlight looks like and we'll be going in it does have a um, a fan on it to keep these from being they get pretty hot so it cools us down pretty well uh, it does have good airflow in the canyon around um, the headlight housing so anyhow that's the headlight this is what comes in the box uh, like I said uh, last bit does a good job packaging these up you see it's it's so totally surrounded in foam when it comes to you um, and that's it we'll be right back uh, be doing the install here shortly all right, welcome back. We're out here at the truck. Wanted to uh, kind of go over a few things real quick like, um, hopefully you can see, this is the high beam on this side and this is the low beam. This uh, dust cover will be removed and I'll be taking the high beam out on this side. This is on the driver's side. It's very easy to get to the passenger side. I went over it before in the past videos. Take off all the shrouding, take off the horn, and then reach in and replace the light. So anyway, I'll leave this running and we'll get to replacing. So there we go. That's the dust cover. It does have a green O-ring on it. Be sure you don't lose that. Reach in, twist the headlight. Pull the little clip up and then remove the light. There you go, that's it. And whenever 
I'm doing headlights, I make sure that I never, ever touch the actual bulb. Because if you do, it leaves grease on it, and then it will blow. So here we go. So here's the little piece that goes in. That's going to be how the headlight spun in there to begin with. This is the harder part, is getting this piece to go in there and twist. I had this problem last time on the blue beam. Takes a little maneuvering to get that started. Take a little flathead screwdriver, reach right there, and finish turning it to lock it in place. Once it's locked in place, take your headlight. I make sure that this piece is down, and then it just pushes right in. And you'll come in. Replug in your headlight. Then I always go and test my headlights, make sure if I have it plugged in correctly, which I don't. It's easy to reverse. So I'll just take that, flip it around, and voila. Here we go. I'll show you. It's that quick and simple, as you can see. A high beam and a low beam. On to the next side. All right, now we'll be back over here on the passenger side. Like I said, we'll I'll show you this. The horns here, you have a little plastic clip right down there. They look like, let's see, looks like this right here. You have to make sure you gently pull this head up and then you can remove this all together. I removed the clip here because it holds this goes here and I remove it all together there is a little torch rip bit here it's a 120 torque bit removed it so I can remove this whole piece because if you don't this is very easy right there by my thumb to just rip out all together and then it just kind of ruins that piece so just out of safety I didn't do it on the first video but I would re um, suggest that you remove this I had this problem on my dad's truck He's got a Colorado 21. It's got the same install headlights. Remove this piece. Um, the first video, I removed all of this. I really don't see a need to do it again. I can work around it because the headlight's right there. I am going to remove the horn because it makes it simpler. And for sake of time, I have already loosened the horn. And all I'm doing is removing it from the wall. It does have a elusive 10 millimeter nut right there. Move that out to the side. And then down here on the bottom, there is one more of these push pins. Like I said, all you do, I use a very small flathead screwdriver. Very carefully pop that pin up. They do have a special tool if you have one that helps with these push pins. I, as you can see, don't have one. So once you get that, that head slid out, it makes removing that fairly simple. And then there's one right here at the top.
And once that's out, put that there so we don't lose it. This whole piece comes off. So, as you can see, I'll show it real quick. Like, you really don't have to remove this hose because you have plenty of room and the high beam's right there. There we go. All right. So, same thing here. We're going to remove that high beam, just like on the other side. Still haven't put that one back in over there. And we're going to remove the headlight. Removing the headlight. Once you're facing the bottom of the headlight, if you'll take the very bottom and just push it to your left, it comes right out. And there we go. Remove that one. Put that back in the box. I always save my headlights, especially when there's nothing wrong with them, just in case um, something happens with one of these, I can always quickly replace it. All right, we're back. It's easier if you don't drop this piece. Had to get under the truck. This one went in a lot smoother than the last one. And here's the 50-50. Did I get it in correct? All right. I'll slide the headlight in and check it out. And that's it. They're both working bright. I'll uh, check them later on in the evening, see how they're working. But anyway, that's it. That's a quick and simple install for the headlights for your canyon so once again i want to thank you for tuning in also thank last fit for uh reaching out to partner with me to uh try out these new headlights they asked me to do this video and um, i'm very uh appreciative of them to reaching out once again there will be a link in the bottom down there for uh the link to these headlights and how to purchase them if you would like to purchase them if you have any questions please feel free to uh, drop a comment below let me know any of the content that you'd like me to do and thanks for uh, joining into the channel as always it is greatly appreciated to all those that have subscribed please like uh, share and subscribe this video it greatly helps me out and as always thanks for tuning in and have a great christmas because it's right around the corner and um, take care